Hello friends and welcome back to Parshati's Pulmonology and today is uh, part 7 of Pulmonary Radio Wines. Today we are going to study basics of chest x-ray. It is a part 1. What is chest x-ray or what is an x-ray? X-ray is a form of electromagnetic radiations. Like we have other electromagnetic radiations like ultraviolet, infrared and radio waves. So in, like that x-ray is one of the type of electromagnetic radiation which is used in diagnostic purposes. So what is the radiation dose? For the radiation dose of one chest x-ray is 0.2 millisievert okay this is an important question which they might ask in all the competitive exams so what is the principle when the x-ray beam containing x-ray photons passes through the body some tissues absorb the photons completely that which are dense like bone and some less dense tissue like air allow it to pass through them and intermediate denser tissue like soft tissue scatter them so based on the differential absorption the image is created so the most uh, dense tissue that is bone appears as white because it absorbs all the radiation all the photons the less dense tissue that is air appears as black because it allows the photons to pass through them that is how the differential images is created so after studying the principle we should we let us go to the systemic systematic reading of chest x-ray this is the seven points which before which you have to confirm before exactly going to reading of a chest x-ray coming to the first point that is name date and time it is very important to identify the patient name on the chest x-ray because you might be seeing some other patient your assistant might give some other patient x-ray you might misdiagnose the patient so always check for the name date and time of the x-ray okay it is an important thing Recognize your patient and recognize your chest x-ray before treating. Next comes the part exposed. As a pulmonologist, we usually get chest x-ray, but other other parts which can be x-ray can be done is abdominal x-ray, x-ray lumbar spine or x-ray cervical spine. This is a part exposed. Check for part exposed. Third is projection. Projection means whether the photons are passed from posterior to anterior or from anterior to posterior. Sometimes we usually get lateral films also. PA view and AP view are most common. So how do you differentiate it? See in PA view the spine and the posterior end of the ribs are clearly visible as you can see here and they are not so in AP film and here the clavicle or outside the lung field in AP view and in PA view they are within the lung fields. Here there is an upper end cardiomegaly, here the cardiac size appears normal and the ribs are more obliquely placed, placed and here they are more horizontally placed. The scapula is within the lung field and scapula is outside the lung field. These are the simple basic differences between the PA view and AP view. They, they, this question is definitely asked in PG practical, UG practical and even in NEET exam. Projection. Next comes exposure. How to see whether the X-ray is adequately exposed? Look at the lower part of lower part of cardiac shadow. This is the cardiac shadow. Lower part of it. If the vertebral bodies are clearly visible through that X-ray means very clearly visible then it is overexposed just visible adequately exposed and less and not at all visible it is underexposed okay adequate over and underexposed just visible adequate exposure very clearly visible overexposure and if vertebral bodies are not visible then it is underexposed okay, this is exposure next comes the rotation and tilt For rotation you have to see the vertebral bodies and the sternal head of the clavicular end but you see the distance if there is distance then, the, then if there is no rotation if there is a like one is less one on right side is less and left side is more then is a rotation now how do you check for tilt the level of the clavicle should be same on both the side left and right then that is how you check for tilt if this is like this then it is tilted to right side if this is like this then it is tilted to left side that is how you check for tilt last comes inspiration X-ray should always be taken in fully full inspiration but in certain instances like pneumothorax we prefer expiratory film because the pneumothorax is clearly visible. How do you say it is full full inspiration? If the anteriorly more than anteriorly 6 ribs are visible, posteriorly 10 ribs are visible then it is full inspiration. If more than 6 ribs anteriorly and less than and more than 10 ribs posteriorly it is over inflation seen in COPD. And if less than 6 ribs it is over expiratory film. That is, it is a systematic reading of chest x-ray. Thank you all for patience.